In today's video, I'm going to be an absolute menace to society by hopping into casual mode and letting my opponent think that I want to go epic late game with them. But in reality, we're eventually going to ruin their hopes and dreams by rushing them. Is this cyberbullying? Yes, it is. So we got the map mine. I'm using Oven Druid Farm Spike Factory as my strategy. And look at this guy's name. His name is Late Game Please. He's using DJ Ben. I'm really, really sorry that I'm about to do this to this guy. And look, he sent us a heart. He literally Literally just sent me a heart no way guys we're gonna be an absolute menace to society and we're just gonna ruin this guy's hopes and dreams i'm so freaking sorry in advance because i've done a video like this with btd battles one and whenever i did it people were very upset with me okay so just know this is for entertainment purposes it's just a game at the end of the day you know <laughs> but I, I guess I would probably be a little bit annoyed if I were him too. And dude, he's lucky though that there's not a late game chat emote because I definitely would just be spamming the absolute heck out of that right now. Because in Battles 1, there is a late game emote. So if there's a Ninja Kiwi employee watching, make sure that you guys add a late game emote here soon, all right? But there he goes with DJ Ben, but on round freaking three. But also too, we ended up setting down Oven on round three. Uh, not too sure how because I'm normally able to easily get him by round two But maybe it's because we're on this map. Oh, look at all these blues too. We're on his side Yikes, yikes, yikes. He's got to go for the faster barrel spin. Okay, so there he goes with that Yeah, Drew Farm Spike Factory by the way It's a pretty fun strat to use But if you're ever using it and your opponent notes its main weakness, then you might just be screwed. Okay Oh, by the way, yep space whites here on round five. I just went for our first banana farm Okay, so i'm gonna go for the druid of wrath here Maybe just set this bad boy to last. And I think with this on last, we should be good. Maybe go for hard thorns as well. I don't know if we got that full increase of attack speed or not out of both druids. I really wasn't paying attention, guys. Like, I have not been focusing at all, right? But let's go for the increased production over on our side with our banana farm. I would have to assume that this guy also is using a dartling farm strategy. Or wait, no. He's going for another darling gunner, okay? So, I mean, his name is late game, please. And if you want to go late game and you want the best late game loadout, then you probably shouldn't be going with the banana farms. Like, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love the banana farms. It's a great way to get money. But if your opponent just plans on not rushing you, then you'll eventually have enough money with just a pure eco strategy. But there we go with another 200 farmer, right? So I'm going to go for one more of these farms and then we'll start preparing the spike factor, right? So a little bit risky, I know. Uh, but I really don't feel like this guy has any intentions of rushing us and if worse comes to worse Then we could spike storm, but we really want to refrain from doing that as well And uh, let's target these brambles by the way to like more back here boys Okay, that's gonna be a lot better of a positioning for us. Let's go for that 200 farm Perfection look dude. We don't even have enough money still For a spike factory even okay, but where do we go for the spike factory actually? Should we go for it like? right here in the middle of the map you know like right by the brambles or should we go for like right here um i'm saying like yeah yeah right here boys okay i don't know why i overthink every little thing definitely could have got um the 002 up a little bit sooner as well but it's fine okay because again i just don't think this guy will be aggressive towards us hopefully i could be 100 wrong and i am just assuming that he's not gonna be aggressive okay so we still have definitely got to watch out because two I just put this down. There's barely any spike balls that have powered up thus far on the map, you know. So hopefully that will be in the clear. I'm gonna go for one more now 200 farm because that's what I like to do. And it looks like he is back to send the yellow eco. Okay, so I guess we're in the clear. And by the way, he's also using the banana farms. Okay, so plot twist of the century because I thought for sure that he wasn't going to be farming. And it's a bit late, you know, better late than never though, right? Definitely, okay. So, well freaking up with that. I guess maybe he's using Dartling Farm Ninja. If I had to guess, dude, if he's using Dartling Farm Spike Factory, this guy's an absolute chat of a player, okay? That would be so ironic, too, because that was, like, the next strategy that I would have picked, probably. I definitely need to, like, get more variety when it comes to my strategies because I do use a lot of the same strategies. Like, right now, too, by the way, there's, like, less than two days left, actually. Just barely less than two days uh, left of the season and i have been grinding literally all day trying to get a hall of masters currently at 99 trophies okay but i wanted to make a video on my 100th trophy win or possibly even my hall of masters 
uh, placement games, okay? If those games are worthy enough of being uploaded. Because, like, I've done Hollow Master placement matches in the past, and... They just tend to be a bit boring sometimes because, I don't know, the games just end really, really quickly sometimes because, like, that's my play style. I, I like to be pretty aggressive towards my opponents, although it's weird because in most videos, I'm never, ever aggressive towards my opponents, right? But in Ranked, it's a completely different story. But yeah, I definitely need to start using a bit more strategies because, like, seriously, I use these same strategies over and over again, but... I guess at the start of the next season will be a good time to start trying out new things, okay? Especially with the new updates and because I'll be in, like, Ceramic Crucible, okay? Actually, no, wait. I'll be set back to BFB because now your trophies don't reset and get cut in half. It's 75% of what you used to have, okay? So, obviously, I'll be at 100 or hopefully I'll be at 100 if I win. So that will reset me back to 75. That is very interesting. And I completely forgot about that, all right? But this guy's last tower is, in fact, Super Monkey, okay? So well, well freaking done. I just want to farm as hard as I freaking possibly can, man. And, dude, I'm thinking about setting the Hyper Den ZOMG rush, okay? Because, I don't know, if we just have a ton of money coming in left and right, we're going to be able to send so many ZOMGs at this guy it's gonna be absolutely crazy and i think he's eventually going to get overran all right because i don't know I, I just feel like he will if he does though go for like an anti-balloon if he has enough money for that eventually then he might be fine he might not i don't really know round 20 is here by the way all right so i might even sell my spike factory here just to have enough money yeah you know what i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it okay look oh my god i'm gonna sell you okay yep I i'm sorry i had to sell that i literally i, I had to I actually had to do that. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I might even go for a spike storm here because that is a lot of balloons. So yeah, let's spike storm you very quickly. Perfect. Let's go for the heart of thunder on this. And let's go for this spike falls once again. Per freaking infection. Okay, that was kind of a little bit sloppy. I, I can't even lie to y'all. That was a bit sloppy on my behalf. But there were so many balloons right there. It's because I never went for the heart of thunder over on this druid right here okay oh my god i upgraded the wrong thing i went for this spike factory and also it's not targeted to close jeez louise man i am just still all over the freaking place i've got to make sure that i can defend against all of this by the way like literally my trees is probably about to go the way uh, I, I think I need another druid. Yeah, I need another druid, boys. Okay, so let me go for... <laughs> I, I sold my other druid like an idiot, but I just wanted to go for the freaking... Uh, what is it called? Monkey Wall Street uh, before round 20 ended right there, you know? Because then we got that extra $10,000. It was so worth it, I think. But now what we're going to do is go for 2204 Central Markets to eventually go for Banana Central over on our facility that we currently have up, all right? And also, let's retarget our trees some more towards the front of the map, and let's use that tree's ability right now. Perfect, okay? So not only are we going to get money from that, now we're getting our spike factory finally some time to start piling up some spikes. And I, I did go for this on accident. I didn't necessarily need the spike mines. I'm actually, like, not a huge fan of the upgrade in general. I just don't think it's, like, really worth the money because uh, you don't like, necessarily need it, you know? The 302 itself is good enough for most situations. But it's not like going for the spike mines is going to make the spike factory worse. Of course, it's going to make it a little bit better. I just think it's a bit expensive, okay? But let's sell both of you. Go for the Banana Central. Round 25 Banana Central, not too shabby. Considering, too, he is popping the balloons right as they come out the map, okay? So these rounds, th they're just flying by, essentially, you know? So that kind of sucks. But for farm users, it's actually not that bad of a thing, okay? So I, I guess I can't complain. But, dude, he has yet to leak a life. He also has Benjamin anyway, even if he did leak down. We could even go past round 40 with today's game. And I actually might go past round 40 with today's game. Okay, we literally have like barely any camera detection now. All my spike balls went away. And I've just got so much money. So I'm going to go for a spike storm right in the center of the map. Just to kind of have a ready set in stone in case there are any more camo balloons because honestly i don't remember if there are there like eventually are gonna be you know and also too he could rush us with camo balloons highly doubt he's gonna do that because he still has yet to do a single thing at us you know what i mean and it's round 29 we're both just kind of farming on we're, we're just vibing you know and here comes the round 30 bfv we got so much money too at the start of round 30 you always get a lot of money on like round 30 and round 40 because also round 20 as well because there's only one balloon 
on the map. So you just get all the money from your banana farms all at once, which is just super, super awesome, all right? But hopefully we can defend here as well. You know what? I'm going to go for a spike storm. I even might go for another one. Okay, no, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. We, we have got to start upgrading our defenses here a little bit, okay? So maybe this right here should just be our super storm. I know it's not the best positioning, boys, but it's better than nothing, right? Okay, let's also go for the bottom path as well. Yeah, I'm definitely fine with that, and that's going to tremendously help us out against all these AI balloons and just allow us to continue on farming. You know what? I actually ended up moving my super storm. It's fine, okay? We've got all the money in the world that we need, so really not a big deal at freaking all if you do ask me now where do we want to go for the super mines by the way i'm thinking i guess more down here it doesn't really matter um i overthink every little thing in case you didn't know but we're just gonna go for the super mines right there all right we could go for the carpet of spikes as well i guess like diagonal to it because why not so let's go for that as well perfect not gonna go for a perma spike because perma spike essentially it's just not worth it, boys, all right? But, dude, with our Superstorm being all the way up here, guarantee again on round 40, we'll start the round. Oh, wait. Speaking of round 40, uh, we don't have the Life Avenger. We are not on par with the Life Avenger, okay? So what we need to do is go for the Spirit of the Forest, all right? So let's just go for that right here, right now. Amazing. And I, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe Bottom Path is a better Cross Path. Don't really know. It, the Spirit of the Force, it doesn't even do like that much popping power anyway. So, not a big deal. But we got it on the map, okay? And now we, of course, got to start using that ability to regenerate lives. And every time that we use it, we get 25 lives. So, we should be back to 150 in no time. Actually, you know what, too? I'm going to sell that Carpet of Spikes because I forgot. We can go for a farm directly in the center of the map, okay? So, I just keep on selling T5s left and freaking right. But uh, it's fine, I guess. Oh, dude, no. Where do I go for the Carpet of Spikes then now? I don't really know because I wanted to go for some Pop Plus to health buff this druid right here. I guess this could just be... You know what? This won't be my Avatar of Wrath. Because now we're going to lose the increase of attack speed because we've got the Spirit of the Forest. If you guys don't know, if you reach on your lives after like losing lives and getting that attack speed buff off of a certain druid, you actually lose it when you start regening your lives, okay? So... Because of that, I know the better cross path for the Avatar of Wrath is going to have to be the Thorn Swarm. So, I guess we'll go for that right here instead. Let's just go for that now. We don't even, like, really need to go for it, okay? I guess we just got to make sure that we can defend against a potential counter rush because, yeah, once we rush this guy, he there's a great chance that he can counter. All right, so I went for Poplus around the Superstorm. So, now it has that times 5 Poplus buff on it as well. Same with Avatar of Wrath and same with the Spirit of the Forest. Uh, not really sure if that matters. Probably not a right. But look at our life count as well. We have over 150 lives. Therefore, we are technically tied. This is actually a common misconception uh, because technically our opponent over here late game, please. He does have 250 lives. Therefore, he has more than 191. But after you go over 150, it's just kind of equal, right? When it comes to around 40 in the life advantage, right? So it's like if you don't leak a life, then you're tied, you know? And also, too, round 40 ZOMG is here. We got the Superstorm, right? So the Superstorm is going to constantly push back the ZOMG. Oh, my God, dude. Dude, he shredded that, by the way. Uh, but we have way more farms than him, by the way. Uh, but let's see. Oh, wait, no. Superstorm that time did not stall out round 40 interesting okay remember guys if you saw like i don't even remember what video exactly it was but dude the superstorm just constantly kept on pushing back the zmg and it just stalled out round 40 it was so weird right but this time around that was not the case okay but that is fine okay we almost have a one million dollars without even having to sell a single freaking farm which is pretty crazy to say okay but things are probably going to start getting pretty intense for us um, so we've got to watch out for that. Oh, yeah, we could probably collect from this. Yeah, let's collect that 15k. Perfect. But I didn't have, like, a specific number in mind that I wanted to have in order to rush him. Like, it didn't need to be, like, a $2 million rush or anything crazy like that. Uh, but I guess $2 million, now that I think about it, that's a pretty cool number, right? So we actually might just try to hit that mark and then just rush him with as many hyper-dense ZOMGs as freaking possible, okay? He's already got a lot of Dark Champions over inside. 
He could even go for the Legend of the Night if he really wants to, which will allow him to tank for uh, seven and a half seconds, I think. But he just went for a Ray of Doom. Yeah, he's got a go-to strategy, guys, okay? Especially for these later game rounds. So, would not be surprised if he ends up defending against our rush. But just know, it's going to be a pretty freaking beefy rush. So, if we sell all of our farms, by the way, we'll have about $400,000. Currently, we have $1.3 million, all right? So, yeah, we'll end up setting this guy a rush once we have around $1.6 million. Uh, because we'll sell off all of our farms but then he'll know like that i'm gonna rush him and hopefully we can defend oh my god ddt counter it's gonna be scary guys i, I can't even lie to y'all it's gonna be very very scary but i didn't want to put too much money into my defenses you know i, I want to spend that money on rushing him instead I, I feel like i'm just a late game trader though you know what i mean one spike storm you know we'll, we'll try to go for a few more spike storms so i feel a little bit more at ease because it looked like for those like round 45 ai ddts the superstorm didn't do that well all right and look at this ai as well dude guys yeah we have got to start rushing this guy it's round 48 all right so i think we should get to it all right so let's literally sell off all of our freaking farms here and let's see oh i thought he was doing the same thing as well i was a bit nervous about that let's use this ability one last time perfect oh no he's rushing us no 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 oh no oh no guys tower boost that no no, he decided to rush us here first. Oh my god, we just gotta pop up the BA dealer. We've just got, gotta pop up the BA dealer. Please, 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 please. Please, and then Superstorm hopefully can get everything underneath. No, 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 no. This is not how it's supposed to go. This is not how it's supposed to go, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot freaking believe it. We still have yet to pop it down. Come on, pop that down, pop that down, pop that down, pop that down. Look at his side, by the way. This is literally too close for comfort, ladies and gentlemen. Who is going to end up winning, me or him? He said the BADs, but I said the ZOMGs. ZOMGs are a little bit faster, but it looks like we're going to end up going down just barely. Dang it. Oh, wait, what? No way. Wait, wait, wait. We just won that. Wow, that was absolutely insane. It looked like on our screen that we ended up leaking down first, but in reality, we ended up still somehow winning. I thought Karma had already gotten us because we did this video in general, but hey, a dub is a dub. And if you guys have not already, make sure to check out this video where we see how good is a hypersonic ultra juggernaut. It's pretty crazy. There's spike balls all across the map. So if you have yet to check it out, go make sure to watch it.